What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae, and I wanted to check in with you. We are wrapping up the first day of our 28-day detox, and I got a lot of feedback today. So I wanted to just give you some encouragement because a few people already said, man, I messed up or I cheated. You have to remember, we went over this in the very first video, and I encourage you to go back and re-watch it. Do not quit because you slip. We're not making excuses. However, it's going to be a process, okay? So let it be a process. Don't make excuses, but don't accept any negativity either. That's number one. So no matter how much you feel like you slipped, you messed up, whatever, I didn't get to do my enema, whatever, don't worry about it because there's always tomorrow. I told you, if you don't get three days in, get one day in. Now, by this point, you should have already wrote down your why or wrote down your goal and your why. You should have already taken a picture of yourself or at least use one that's recent, like within the last month or so. Um, you should have already weighed yourself and you should really have your mind in the game. You didn't have to worry about doing a really big shop yet. Only if you needed some tea or a little bit of fruit. That's all you really needed to do. And if you didn't have an enema bag, you might have needed to grab an enema bag. They have them on Amazon, only for a few bucks. You can buy them at any CVS or Walgreens. But you didn't have to worry about doing a really big shop just yet. Actually, you don't have to worry about doing a really big shop at all. Now, for Monday, when we go back to eating, we are trying to do um, as little mucus forming foods as possible. The goal is not to be perfect. The goal is to improve our eating and put our best foot forward. So if you're buying things out of the produce section, you're pretty much in really good shape. And I put up the vlog, the shopping vlog, where I showed you a few of the like extra things that you can add into your diet, like quinoa or wild rice, or maybe the apple cider vinegar, things like that, little small so things. So don't feel like you have to be extremely limited. It's not like you can't eat anything. You can eat as much as you want. And that's the best part. However, to get us jump started on Monday, we're going to be starting our intermittent fasting. So we'll only be eating from 11 to 8 for those first 10 days, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. for the first 10 days. But we'll get more into that on Sunday when we do our meal prep and look up a guy named Dr. Sabi. S-E-B-I, or Dr. Arnold Eret, E-H-R-E-T, Dr. Arnold Eret. Both of these gentlemen talked about the link between disease and nutrition and how the mucus in our bodies, the mucus forming foods lead to every single disease that we know of, which is why we're doing this mucoid plaque cleanse. So I'll be putting up um, a tweaked recipe of the mucoid plaque recipe that I already have on this channel and I'll link that in the description box below. You don't need to buy a bunch of supplies or supplements. You don't have to go out and buy protein powder because you think you might be hungry. You don't have to do any of that. Now, what I will say, if you have it in your budget to spend 60 bucks, buy a juicer if you don't have one. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can always go buy juice at Whole Foods or things like that but we wanna do the two juice cleanse. Not this 10 days, but the next 10 days. There are ways to make it work. Just try your best to set it as a priority, and I believe that you can make it happen. Smoothies are a help, especially on the go, when you can just take a bunch of fruit and vegetables, throw it in the blender, um, and just be on your way. Just to stay away from the excess sugars and things like that, the extra ingredients, you can buy a bag of hemp seeds, little tiny white seeds, and all you do, literally, you take your hemp seeds, you put them in a blender with water, and you let it blend for a minute or two, voila, you have milk. Just add a little pinch of salt, you'll be good to go. It really has its own really delicious flavor. That 
chia seeds to make um, the mucoid plaque drink. You're definitely going to need that. So look into picking that up. Liquid bentonite clay. You're going to need that. And then other household items that you should already have, like the lemon or the lime. You can use that and activated charcoal. So I just want to put that in your ear. You have all weekend to get these things because we're not starting till Monday, but I want to put it in your ear, put it in your mind. So something you're thinking about, you can pick these up at any whole food store, nutrition store, things like that. I have the big bag of activated charcoal that you see me use several times on my channel. But if you don't want to get a big bag, you can always get the capsules and then you just take one capsule, open it up, pour it in your drink. It makes it super easy. No mess, no fuss. It's really convenient and it's not super expensive. So those are the only things that I want you to be thinking about outside of your grocery shopping, which is, you know, the basics, your fruits, your vegetables, and a few of the things that I showed you yesterday. That's it. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. It's only day one. Imagine yourself being in the place that you want to be. Imagine yourself having every single thing that you want. All of it starts with discipline. And if we cannot learn to discipline what we put in our mouths, what we put in our bodies, what we put in our minds, how we keep our surrounding environment, it will be hard for us to master discipline in any other area of our life. Remember, this is a holistic detox. So make sure you go back and listen to that first video because we talked about cleaning our space cleaning up our phones and things like that. Go back and rewatch that video if you have to, but it's super, super important. Remember, holistic detox. This is not a diet, okay? These are steps that we're gonna be taking with us in every area of our life long after the 28 days has been completed. All right, that's it for this video, family. Thanks so much for watching. If you're struggling, hang in there. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know, this is where I'm struggling. This is where I'm messed up. Either it's the people in my household or I still have to feed my kids or maybe it's my budget. Whatever it is, let me know. And if you have tips and tricks that you know can help someone else, leave it in the comment section below. Okay, family, thank you again for watching. Smash that like button and share these videos with someone that you know needs it. It's so much easier when we have people doing it with us, when we have accountability partners. So share this video with as many people that you know need to be doing this detox as well, okay? Thanks again for watching, family. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on because I have a lot of content coming at you. All right, I'll see you in the next video, family. Peace. Did you know I picked out a video just for you? Really? I did. I put it right here. Click it. Click it right now so you can check it out just for you.